Hey, greetings from Texas. It's time for another freeze-dried backpacking food review. Another right on Trek meal. This time it's a general soy's mountain rice. So this is one serving. I'll have a link down below to uh, the other, the first review I did. Here's the uh, nutritional information, 560 calories. So um, we're gonna boil nine ounces of water. You know, turn down the heat, add the ingredients and you cook on low for five minutes. Turn off the heat, cover and let it sit for two minutes and enjoy. Now they do recommend a size pot, a one liter pot. Um, so you may need to take that into account uh, when you go out into the field or, you know, I'm sure you can get by, but that's what they recommend. So we'll get our water going. When that gets going, we'll go ahead and prep the meal and see what happens. Okay, looks like our water's going. That's what we're looking like inside. This is no gluten and vegan. It has that uh, freeze-dried vegetable smell to it. All right, so for ingredients, we have uh, rice, soy, chilies, whole soybeans, pineapple chunks, pineapple sugar, sesame seeds, and a bunch of other powders and chemicals. We're gonna turn down the heat and let it go for five minutes, stirring occasionally. Okay, it's been five minutes. We're gonna turn off the heat and all that liquid is completely absorbed. So we're gonna cover it for two minutes. Okay, we follow the instructions to a T. It's been two minutes, covered. So let's go ahead and plate this. All right, let's give you a look. Okay, it's time to give it a try. The um, red pepper flavor is pretty prominent. There's a little, a uh, little bit of heat on the back side. Try this chunk of soy. I really can't taste the pineapple. That piece of fake meat, fully hydrated. Well, I got a little bit of soy flavor that time. Okay. I'll give it a thumbs up. It's um, a different menu departure from some of the typical freeze-dried foods that are out there. If you are a uh, vegan, this is a, a good option for you. I'm not a vegan, um, but it's a fairly good substitute for meat. These little soy strips here. All right, folks, I'm gonna go ahead and finish my lunch. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any comments or questions, leave them down below. Appreciate it if you hit the like button. Um, that's the best thing you can do for a content creator is hit the like button. And um, if you liked it, I appreciate you stopping by. And as usual, thanks for watching.